Hi everyone. So yesterday evening I was out on a walk and it was, you know, getting a little, a little later, closer to six o'clock. And uh, I noticed that the daylight was lingering a little later than it has been for the past, you know, uh, month or so, I guess, you know, as we get away from the uh, shortest day of the year. And you know, I, I guess it was the first time I'd really noticed uh, that it was it was hanging around, uh, you know, lingering. The kind of the twilight was lingering uh, later than it ha had been for quite a while. And of course, we're getting, uh, you know, as we're moving into February and getting a little bit, just a little bit more closer to spring and to daylight savings time, of course, then you start to see this. And it got me thinking about how filmmakers uh, really rely on the weather to cooperate with uh, a, a film shoot. You know, if you're filming outdoors and you're sort of at the mercy of the weather. Um, and I was thinking about some of the times that I've had film shoots over the years that were um, affected by this and how I sort of had to work around it. And year, about five years ago, I was making a short film where I was, I was filming in some uh, parks in, in a, a state park, and the whole so the whole thing takes place, you know, out, outdoors. And I remember the morning of the shoot, I saw that it was it was very overcast, and it was that kind of almost misty weather where you know it, it's not quite raining, it's not quite drizzling, but if it, it's you know could happen at any moment. And we were fortunate we got through the shoot, I believe, without any serious rainfall. But that was a very, that was a good example of one that was almost, I almost would have had to cancel it if, if the sky had really opened up because, um, you know, like I said, we were out out in the uh, out, outdoors and, you know, on hiking trails and, and it would it just wouldn't have worked out if uh, we'd had a rain that day. And as any independent filmmaker knows it can be so difficult just trying to schedule a shoot, just trying to find a single day or time when uh, people, even if you're only working with a couple other people, you know, just to be able to find a time when everybody's available to get together and make the movie. So you find yourself really uh, kind of kind of watching in anticipation to see what the weather is going to be like when you're at the at the mercy of it for an outdoor shoot. In that case, in that particular film which was sort of a dystopian sci-fi thriller, it, the weather didn't hurt too much because it did give the sky this kind of washed out, overcast look. Even though I was shooting in black and white, um, it was still a, uh, you know, it, it still kind of complemented the tone of the film enough that it wasn't uh, too much of a problem. And, you know, so that's what, sometimes you have to look at how any obstacle in filmmaking, not just weather, but anything that comes up, any challenge, uh, how you can turn it to your advantage and, and look at the positives of it and see what it can do to enhance or complement the uh, film that you're making. But weather is definitely a concern, and there are certainly times when you really just don't have any choice but to have to cancel the shoot if, it's, uh, if it gets you know, rained out. So, you know, filming, um, you know, being on the East Coast, especially what the weather can be fairly uh, unpredictable, you know, especially like in the spring, you know, there's a lot of a lot of rain. And also, as, as you move further into uh, toward the end of winter and into the early spring, you know, even extreme cold temperatures can, uh, you know, the, 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 the weather kind of extreme weather can oscillate uh, between warm and cold temperatures, you know, fairly drastically. And so you have to account for that too. And, um, but I'll say this, when I was out on that walk last night and I saw that lingering twilight and the, and the sky had a beautiful purple hue to it, you know, it was really a, a beautiful sight. I had to go back out and take a picture of it actually, because I just, I just, I love seeing the, that kind of, uh, twilight lingering in the sky. But, uh, anyway, when I was out on the walk and, uh, looking at this, this beautiful lighting, it really, uh, it got me excited about filming outdoors in the spring. You know, once, once it warms up enough that I can comfortably go out and spend, you know, an extended period of time outdoors filming again, um, I, re I really look forward to that. I love filming outside. 
uh, in terms of my own, you know, my own personal preferences in making films, I prefer working outdoors. I prefer the, um, just the, the look of it. I like the, uh, being outside and, you know, in the fresh air and with the, especially filming in natural landscapes, like, you know, parks or, um, you know, other, other areas where the, there's a lot of, uh, you know, beautiful scenery, trees, um, um, you know, anything like that. Uh, for me, it's, I, I like getting the camera out of the house, outdoors, and, uh, you know, just looking at the, the, the visual variety that filming outdoors provides. Um, so, you know, it, it kind of inspires me when I see, when I see this uh, sp kind of uh, hints of spring weather in the offing. You know, we're not, we're not there yet, but it's, it's nice to kind of be reminded that it is, uh, you know, it, it, it is coming and there is this uh, sense of, I guess it, it inspires me creatively thinking about what I'll, what I'll do once, uh, once I can, once the weather warms up enough and once it's uh, cleared up enough that there's no, um, you know, once you kind of move out of this period of wondering if there's going to be another snowfall, you know, yet uh, left this winter. Of course, I think the unpredictability of weather is part of what I find interesting about it and how it can kind of come upon, uh, it can come up very quickly and uh, disrupt uh, disrupt things. You know, if you watch my um, film uh, Work From Home that I did uh, back last summer, I used the weather in that film as part of the, uh, I guess, to help kind of create a sense of atmosphere, you know, that begins with this very drab uh, morning where there's a storm moving in, rainfall, and then it clears up in the middle of the film, and then at the end, uh, if you've seen it, you'll know that at the end, the thunderstorm kind of moves back in. and um, That was purely by chance, of course. I had no idea what the weather was going to be like the day that I filmed that, and it was something that I kind of responded to and reacted to and incorporated into the film. So in, in that way, sometimes you can you can do that with weather. You can find the mood that it suggests or how it can enhance the tone of uh, the story that you're telling or the, the ideas that you're trying to get across and bring it into the film that way. Similarly, when I did uh, Endless August, that was another film that was very dependent on weather in a lot of ways, filming at the beach. And the drive on the drive down there, when it started to rain... Uh, which you don't want when you're going on vacation, uh, you know, that kind of set the mood a bit of this being a, a sort of a dreary and, uh, you know, disappointing uh, trip in some ways for these characters. But, uh, and, and, and when I went to the, to film at the beach for the first time, uh, if, if you've seen Endless August, you'll remember it's a very gray sky, it's like on the verge of raining, uh, and it's a very rough sea, you know, so those kind of elements, again, I, I drew on that to relate to the character's state of mind. And then, of course, the next morning, you know, after um, after he had after the character has um, uh, kind of let go of a lot of, the, you know, the, the stress that he's brought with him on this trip. You know, you go he goes back to the beach the next morning and there's this beautiful sunrise over the water. And that was, you know, in a calm sea and everything. And that was, again, purely by chance, you know, so I was able to use that and bring it into the film. So there's all sorts of ways that weather can really enhance uh, what, you, what you're doing when you make a film. And, uh, but like I said, it's really impossible to predict exactly how things will go. I mean, even with all the, you know, you can follow all the weather reports and everything, but there's just, there's no guarantee that you're going to have the weather that you are hoping for when you go out on a, on a film shoot. You know, you can do your best uh, research into the, into the weather forecasts and all the, all your planning but ultimately you are at the mercy of that weather and if you're filming outdoors that's a risk that you take but as i said uh you know these were all just some thoughts that were inspired by my walk uh, yesterday evening and i guess that sense of uh, excitement that i feel when i see the you know that lingering daylight starting to to stay uh, linger a little later and thinking about what I'll do filming outdoors in the spring once uh, once uh, the, the seasons change and warmer weather rolls around and there's more daylight, more more daylight hours to be out there filming, making movies. Anyway, uh, 
that's it on this on these uh, uh, on this topic for now. And hopefully, uh, we'll have some beautiful spring weather here in the in the coming months. And uh, look forward to getting back out there and making some movies. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.